Welcome, everybody. Um, uh, we uh, at the ISPD um, Media and Communication Committee welcome everybody to um, the introductory session on migrating from Twitter X to Blue Sky. Um, I hope uh, you get some tips and tricks uh, today that you can apply and uh, move over to Blue Sky where most of the medical conversation is happening now. Uh, to chat with me today um, is the uh, OG uh, of Blue Sky, uh, Dr. Jade Deekel, and uh, the co-founder of NEFJC, Dr. Swapnil Hiramat. Uh, and uh, I am Nikhil Shah. Um, uh, I'm the chair of the Media and the Communication Committee for ISPD. So welcome, everyone. Um, this is going to be an interactive session. Uh, I'll have a few slides kind of just introduction uh, to, to give you a perspective of why we are moving on to Blue Sky. Uh, and then uh, we have an open Q&A session. We'll bounce off some questions with each other. And then uh, please feel free to add your questions to the chat. And um, uh, one of us will monitor and answer the questions as we go along. So welcome, everyone. Uh, let's get started. Um, this is a, a short kind of a presentation. So I have only a few objectives. We'll talk about uh, Twitter X, where we have lived um, in the social media community for so long. Uh, what has happened now with the great migration, um, an introduction to Blue Sky, and then a few tricks on how to make the most of Blue Sky. Like everything in this world, um, the perspective is everything. Uh, I used to love Twitter, and this was me, uh, but over a period of time, the perspective has changed for what the reality is. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what the old Twitter was, uh, because everybody was on Twitter um, uh, and the discussions were very, uh, uh, very nice and, and interactive. Uh, and as you all know, Twitter is a, a social media network, a micro blogging uh, site where you can post, which were called tweets, and then um, you can have conversations based on hashtags. However, uh, and and basically the NEF Twitter community was a very close knit, mutually respectful and tremendously helpful community uh, and, and very inclusive. There were no barriers, no discrimination. Everybody came together for the love of kidneys and homeostasis. Free and open uh, medical education was the core at which uh, on which uh, uh, we worked on Twitter. And it was also the home of Nephrology Journal Club, Nef Madness, NSMC, and Ask Reno. And, and for a decade, we've been using Twitter for this. And we have Nef JC, Joel and Swapnil uh, have kind of um, over the last uh, uh, decade and more have worked on this extensively to keep the community together. And we adopted, uh, ISPD adopted uh, Twitter, um, the entire social media uh, uh, almost immediately. Um, I was, I'm the social media um, uh, director for, uh, editor for PDI, and we, we have an excellent following here. The other advantage for social media and Twitter in, in patient engagement was excellent with education, peer groups, People could say what they wanted, and there was a there was people would receive very genuine answers uh, without being affected by many people for the most part. And and they had access to experts. They had access to people who were talking about genuine medical things instead of um, uh, instead of what Twitter has become today. And finally, it mattered who you were on Twitter. Verification, the blue check mark was actually people who were verified, who were who who provided excellent information, who provided um, uh, there was some validity to what they were talking about. There was there was chronology in your feed, and you could decide on what you wanted to see, what you wanted to follow, uh, and and it was it was interesting to you. When you did not like somebody, uh, what their attitude or their talk or their tweets was, or, or uh, you could block them and you could block them in a way that 
they wouldn't be able to interact with you, but not only that, they wouldn't be able to see your tweets. And that was important because you can, uh, uh, it, it, is a, it is a privacy issue. And moderation was, a, there was, it, Twitter was serious about moderation. People were, and, and everybody knows the famous people who were kicked out of Twitter um, and, and kept away for the longest period of time to keep Twitter a safe place. And it was called Twitter, which was why we all were here. And then October 26, 27, 2022, let that sink in. This happened. This is literally the Twitter headquarters uh, and uh, Elon Musk came in with a sink and he bought Twitter uh, for a few dollars, 44 billion to be exact. So 27th of October, uh, Musk acquired Twitter. 4th of November, there was almost 50% layoffs that occurred in Twitter and some of the people who were laid off were the safety um, uh, safety committee or something that they 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 protected what was happening on twitter and what information was rolling out um november 9th you could pay to have a blue check mark there was no verification all you needed was money and everybody kind of jumped onto it and validified themselves uh and 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 it became a a, a, a bad place Late in 2022 and early 23, there were several policy changes and feature updates, uh, which changed the way you would interact with the app or interact with the posts. And every few months, there would be a dramatic change and, and um, uh, nothing for the good. July 2023 rebranded it as X, so no more Twitter, but it was all X. and it killed off a lot of initiative that people were uh, interested in. All third party apps became restricted. You had to pay um, to get uh, uh, any access to APIs. Basically, it killed off our screen also. Um, algorithm changed so that what you are actually seeing uh, on your timeline made no sense to what you liked or made no sense to the people that you follow. Uh, it all became an algorithm. Twitter decided on what it wanted to show you. And, and that is what was happening all the time. You could only read 600 tweets in a day uh, if you don't want to pay anything, which is kind of silly. And then all the folks who were previously banned were welcomed back on Twitter. There was several studies that kind of identified that uh, hate speech actually increased after uh, uh, Musk uh, bought Twitter. Um, I was still a I, I was still a convert. I, I was like, you know what, guys? I know Twitter is absolutely going down the drain, but you know what? We built a community on Twitter. Neff JC is super solid, and so I had this last sentence on my blog post here. Whatever happens to Twitter in future is unknown. This is 2023. Uh, this post was written about a year and a half ago, uh, but we are together. We are in our own kind of playground. Let's let's talk to each other here and not ignore everything that is happening. But it was foretold. Uh, the first initial uh, migration started with moving on to Mastodon. Uh, as soon as the Twitter uh, was as soon as Twitter was purchased, and then the layoffs happened. Mastodon number of people kind of went through the roof and continue and, and they continue to rise. But it was a clunky kind of a, a interface. Then this happened. Twitter decided that you won't be able to block somebody from seeing your tweets. You could block them, but if your account was public, they could see your tweets at any time. And that was a big no-no. Right, that was an uh, that was a privacy issue, and then this happened. Elon Musk's tweets, well, let that sink in. He's now in the White House almost, um, and finally, I think this was one of the one of the things that kind of broke the camel's back, sort of a thing. For AI training, Twitter decided that every user has opted in by default that all their data, their tweets are going to be used to train uh, um, Grok AI. 
all in all, it became as if uh, Twitter was not a safe place and Twitter was not a place where uh, you could say something and know that it is going to remain safe and people came after you. And then the exodus started, truly this time. Mastodon was one, but the true exodus occurred in the last few months and Blue Sky was very uh, appropriately placed at the time to take on the, uh, take on the load. Let's talk a little bit about Blue Sky. So what it is, it is a very, very similar. In fact, Twitter, uh, folks at Twitter developed, Jack Dorsey was one of the few, um, the Twitter CEO was one of the people who uh, initiated this off the, uh, off the mainstream um, uh, protocol to, to allow for people to have um, a, an option. Um, and this was developed while he was the CEO. Um, it has a 300 character limit. Uh, it can have posts, images, GIFs or GIFs, whatever you call it. Most important is it was a decentralized structure. It is a decentralized structure using an AT protocol. Uh, and, and if interested, you know, there are many uh, uh, places you can get more information about that. But fully open. Uh, and and it uh, initially was invite only, but now it is fully open. And from a healthcare perspective, we feel that people have more control over what they want to see. People have, there are no advertisements um, and, and moderation is excellent. And there is community driven engagement. We've moved on uh, from that bad part. People switched off social media, but now they are coming back. Uh, some cartoons on the, uh, on the Blue Sky website, how, why is Blue Sky different? Basically, when you come and I'll show you this in a little bit, you you have um, a, a for you section, a discover section, which is similar to the following and um, uh, um, uh, those sections on Twitter. And then you can have multiple feeds. And that is, uh, I'll show you where to where to get those. And most importantly, for the stuff that you do not want to see, there are multiple layers of protection. And you know what? That is really important because you have some time that you spend on social media. You do not want to be, uh, you do not want to see what you don't want to see. Um, basically, they are locked open, which is a very interesting way of putting it, that they have committed to be open. It is open source. Uh, to a point where you can use uh, the 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 uh, uh, the software to create your own apps, and that is amazing. There are already thousands of apps that are available. So some of these are the Gray Sky, Deck Blue, and Sky Feed, and I'll briefly talk about that in about five minutes. So um, again, um, uh, Jade shared shared this with me uh, just a few minutes ago. I won't walk you through the whole thing, but uh, on every aspect, Blue Sky seems to be doing better uh, than Twitter and Threads. Yes, the number of people on Twitter and Threads is massive, but the people that we, I, I feel from a medical social media perspective, most of them have arrived on Blue Sky and the discussions are becoming much more interesting. So um, I will quickly walk you through a few things on how I set up Blue Sky for myself. Uh, and it might be something that uh, you might be interested in. And of course, after I stop talking, uh, Swapnil and Jade will uh, add to that. Um, so basically, just go to, uh, and oh, yes, the QR codes, you can actually um, um, uh, go to these websites with these QR codes. So you decide now, yes, I want to move away from Twitter. Let's go to Blue Sky. You go to bsky.app and then uh, you can create an account. What it does is it allows you to create an account um, which usually has a, uh, this is the account handle, the same thing that we had in Twitter, but it does have .bsky.com as the uh, end part of it. Once you have signed up for an account, it gives you multiple options on what you want to do. So you put in, oh, this is uh, again the uh, uh, creation of the account. And uh, this is where you will put in your handle. This is a step two. 
and it allows you to pretty much the same way as Twitter used to do. It allows you to put in your profile picture. You can create an avatar if you want. And then simple uh, three-step process and you are on. Basically, uh, your posts, likes and blocks are public. Uh, the mutes are private. So I'll show you what the moderation piece looks like. Uh, it is open and it is a federated uh, uh, servers. So your uh, basically your uh, uh, account and login is uh, almost like universal uh, for other open uh, services. Um, so now you've logged in and, and you've signed up and you are here. There's nothing here for you, right? It's empty. And this is one of the things that matters to most people. If they do not immediately see something that they like, they are going to be, ah, uh, maybe there's nothing here that I want to look for. And then they walk away, missing out on a lot of things. And this is where the key difference between Twitter and um, uh, uh, Blue Sky has uh, is, the, is, is um, the starter packs. And I'll show you what it is. So if you want to go to this website, nefjc.com, uh, the Blue Sky Migration, uh, Swapnil has written an excellent piece about um, uh, most of the details that I've talked about, but you will also find a link to what is called as the Nephrology Starter Packs. This is where you will find your tribe. All the people that we wanted to uh, follow, to know whom we used to follow and admire on Twitter, who have moved on to Blue Sky are included in some of these packs. There are five packs now. So each pack basically has 150 nephrology related uh, 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 people who regularly tweet about nephrology stuff. And there are five packs. And all you have to do is click one button and you will be following the people that you cared for on the on on the other side on the other app um how to follow things this is my own uh blue sky uh, kind of a, a, a review uh, a, a app i i like to follow the feeds sometimes you want to see the people that you are following if you click on that you'll see a chronological uh, um, a list of posts which will be excellent but I find some of these feeds very interesting, popular with friends. So all the people that I follow, what they like is probably something that I like too. And so that is helping me tremendously to find new stuff. Mutuals is something that both of us like, the followers and myself uh, and the people that I follow. Again, you, are, you're, you, you get stuff that you're interested in. These high yield medicine, are, are, uh, and um, nephrology, these three feeds are created by, uh, they are by labels that have been created for you uh, by um, uh, people on Blue Sky. Following that, again, provides you with a lot of information that will make you stay on the app. And of course, we have Ask Renal again. Uh, anytime you use a hashtag Ask Renal or just Ask Renal, uh, on Blue Sky, it'll come in this feed. It's not perfect yet, but it'll 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 work. And finally, uh, what I do have is this. Again, you have the QR code. Uh, there is a Blue Sky directory for all the tools and applications. Almost hundred and eighty thousand starter packs. So whatever uh, floats your boat, right? You, you search it up and you follow those people. You can add it as a separate feed, which makes you able to separate out medicine from all your other interests. And that is a, is a very um, uh, uh, beneficial thing. It's similar to what uh, uh, Twitter had for uh, pinning your, uh, uh, basically whatever you wanted to pin onto uh, various lists. Um, all right. If many people have um, used TweetDeck uh, as something to follow, especially NefJC, uh, and I think uh, a very similar uh, Blue Sky app is Deck.Blue, where you can uh, search for the hashtag NefJC, and it will keep on populating uh, um, 
the hashtag as we go along uh, uh, during our uh, NFJC uh, Twitter chats or Blue Sky chats. Um, all right, uh, one final, a couple of final, this last two slides about um, how do you use, say you want to create a feed for yourself or you want to go to Deck Blue to, to access it. It asks you your username, but it does not ask you for a password that you have to put in. It asks you for an app password. This is a very key feature of Blue Sky, wherein you do not have to provide your uh, direct login to any of these applications. You go to the privacy and security in settings in your Blue Sky app, and you will find this particular option as app passwords, which creates a specific password for a specific app. And, um, uh, and it is not related to, it is auto-generated and it is not related to your own password. And you can delete it and the link between these two apps is deleted immediately. And that is really useful to keep, uh, to, to, to keep your own accounts pretty safe. And finally, moderation is really powerful. Um, you can mute words, you can mute tags. There are lists that are available, which are block lists. One button you press and you can block an entire series of known trolls uh, and people that you probably don't want, you're not here for them. Uh, you can mute accounts, you can block accounts, you can set up content filters. All that enables you to have the best possible experience on Blue Sky. And um, I'll stop talking here and we will chat about this um, further. Uh, and, and please have your questions um, uh, in the chat box. And I'll hand it over to Swapnil first. Hey, uh, Nikhil, thanks for that uh, wonderful uh, overview. Um, it, it, it's, it's good that you came around and saw the light. Uh, and and uh, came us came on Blue Sky. There's a really nice, vibrant community on Blue Sky. So those of you who are not using it, create an account today. Uh, the starter packs are useful to build your community. And actually, we have seen that the conversations are flowing much faster. It's like you know you're going to a new place. Uh, so you have to find your friends. And and it's like starting all over again on a blank slate. The starter packs are really useful to kickstart that. Uh, and there are many conversations already happening. Um, and that it is it is very rich. It does feel like Twitter, but I think Blue Sky is richer in many different ways. Um, they are uh, way more strict about the moderation, um, though. Again, you know, I'm sure uh, it will become more challenging as more and more people uh, come on in. Um, but it's it's a wonderful place. Uh, please join us and uh, find your old friends. There are many people who left Twitter completely in the last two years and had disappeared. And you will see many of these familiar faces from Med Twitter and uh, Nef Twitter back there. Jade, what has your experience been like? Um, well, as you said, thank you for doing this and having us here. Um, I I personally kind of got uh, fell out of favor with Twitter several years ago as it first started its transition with um, the new leadership. And I, as as Nikhil said in the in the PowerPoint, I was looking for alternatives and you know tried. Mastodon, tried post, spoutable. Uh, there's things that, you know, some of those other sites haven't even made it through their fledgling years, they, or their fledgling months even, they just kind of collapsed. But Blue Sky was, was different in that it was much more organized and it had already been an idea in production even before the new leadership at Twitter. And so I think that's one of the unique things about it is that it was very purposeful in its creation. I think in comparison to some of those others like Spout and, and uh, uh, Post and Pebble, which were kind of, oh, let's try and jump on this bandwagon of people leaving Twitter. And so I think Blue Sky is very different in that way in that it was more intentional in how it was created. And I, I find that the interaction with Blue Sky, um, it has a very similar feel to Twitter in terms of the microblogging style, the way you can read and interact with posts in a way that Instagram really, there's not a lot of in interaction there. And I find threads to be very unorganized. 
Um, and so to, uh, Blue Sky is that kind of nice intermediate that is most similar to Twitter. Um, but it was difficult in the in the initial months. I, I, I think I joined Blue Sky middle of last year or so, and there was no one there. So it was a very nice environment and nice features, but there wasn't a lot of posting and interaction. And so as Blue Sky has opened up away from its kind of invite only um, initial phase to letting more and more users join, it's really starting to develop different communities, both within uh, MedSky, NefSky, and, and more people joining. I've, I've found it very nice. And as Nikhil said, some of the features that allow you to customize your feeds and you can really see the information that you want to see. And I felt like that was what really one of the many problems that was happening with Twitter is the timeline wasn't what it had been a few years before. So that, I'll leave it there, but that's that's kind of where I am. And I've, I've been very happy with Blue Sky, especially now that more and more people are joining and finding it, again, a, a safe and useful space. Yeah, the, the conversations especially, right? So the beauty of these social media is the conversations, right? It's not it's not uh, unidirectional. It's not that, you know, I'm standing on my soapbox and saying blah, blah, blah. It's not the lecture. It's, you know, uh, Nikhil and uh, Jade and I talking together to each other and, and, uh, and others. And what happened with the change in algorithm is, you know, again, you may not, a lot of people have experienced this with Twitter right now, right? It's not as much fun anymore. Partly it's because all the trolls are back. Uh, and, and they make it very unpleasant for people, especially for, you know, for women and people of color, it's extremely unpleasant. The kind of uh, trolling uh, and replies you get are very, very nasty. But apart from that, you know, even the conversations we would have, let's say Nikhil has said something and I have a, you know, he says, hey, how should you, you know, should you give fluconazole with uh, uh, PD peritonitis? And I have a nice thoughtful reply. I don't know anything about PD peritonitis, but let's say I do. And I say something really thoughtful. And people like my reply and they, they like it, they repost it. So that's the first reply you will see. That was the old Twitter. But now what happens is that if, if I, I don't have a blue check, I never paid uh, the new leadership. Uh, so um, if, if there are some you know bots out there or some people uh, who have uh, blue checks, even if they say yes or no, or, or you know some really dumb reply, that goes on the top of the uh, reply, right? So then the conversations are broken up. It's like, Oh, this is not fun, uh, you know. So, so that those kind of things that, that have been changed in the algorithm make it really, really bad. Uh, again, I'm not here to badmouth Twitter, but this is why uh, it has become less fun. Even outside links, right? So, if you say, "Hey, this is the ISPD webinar," and you put the link there, the Twitter algorithm will suppress that link. So, even if you are following ISPD, you will not see that anymore. So, not only uh, you know, and that's how we share information, right? I'm, I'm usually we are talking about some article a blog or, or what have you, you know, if there is a discussion, it's about uh, links or, or how you communicate uh, a lot of information. Uh, that has been suppressed, right? So so that becomes less enjoyable. In fact, so, so if you move to uh, journals, uh, and PDI was one of the first journals that uh, joined uh, with this transition, is that uh, journals capture alt metrics, right? They see, hey, how many people are talking about this article? And uh, about uh, two weeks ago, Altmetrics also is now capturing blue sky uh, uh, discussions. And, and you can see already that for these journals which have embraced blue sky, you will see NEJM, uh, JAMA, um, you know, even Kidney International, KI reports, apart from PDI, of course, there are many other journals which are Annals of Internal Medicine who are now on, on blue sky. For these journals who are on both places, suddenly the, the um, uh, blue sky discussions are way more prominent, right? Because Blue Sky is happy to, you know, show those outside links. Whereas on Twitter, they get they get suppressed. So the journals are there, the the uh, doctors are there, the fellows are there, the patients are there, uh, and there is a rich artistic, political journalist. All of those people are there, right? So so there is no reason uh, not to embrace Blue Sky anymore. And you're not paying uh, or or feeding into the trolls. Wow. You're not paying some billionaire to get. Uh, a little bit more richer, so so don't uh, don't use Twitter anymore. I've I've stopped using it. I would implore all of you to just stop using it, right? If you want, you can delete your account. Uh, I haven't yet deleted it, uh, but it's not a bad idea. Uh, you you should. I would encourage you to download your archive, uh, which you have to you know you have to request uh, Twitter to do that. It takes a few days, so that in case you need it, it's there. In case you know the the site goes belly up. 
but uh, there is everything that you want on the blue sky and much more. I think it's even a, it reminds me of what Twitter was five years ago, but perhaps even nicer and better in some ways. So I have a question for both of you. Look, I came on to uh, uh, Twitter because of my program director at that time said, you know what, this NEFJC thing is really nice. You should try doing this. And this was 2014. Um, so NEFJC, how does that transition to Blue Sky? And and both of you have been kind of very, very integrated into NEFJC. So how was that first time NEFJC on, on Blue Sky? Um, I can talk about it, but I think Jade has been posting the FJC stuff even while the rest of us were on Twitter. Do you want to talk about that, Jade? Um, well, I wasn't able to, you know, the, the, the first chat, the FJC chat that we had um, formally was just a few weeks ago on Blue Sky. Um, but before that, when I was kind of posting and trying to just kind of build up some of that Neff Sky or Neff Twitter um, community on, on Blue Sky is I would take some of the other posts that we would post on the NEFJC Twitter account, like just, hey, here's some information about some upcoming articles that we're going to discuss. I would cross post the 10 tweet NEFJC. So we do a, a, a small tutorial about a a few days to a week after each chat, we do a small tutorial to kind of sum up the article in the chat. Um, and so I was cross posting that onto Blue Sky. Um, and there wasn't a lot of interaction at first because I think one, I was posting them from my personal account and to the, the number of nephrologists and, and kind of um, trainees and learners who I think interact a lot with NEFJC. Um, we're not yet on Blue Sky, but I just, it was one of those things. I'm like, if I keep doing it, if I keep doing it, eventually, um, you know, others will come around. And so now we have um, created a, an FJC account formally on Blue Sky, and we hosted our first chat there. Um, three weeks yeah, ago. and the chat well, actually went well. Yeah, so when we, we did the first, we have done two chats now, and, and the first chat we did on both places and uh, the participation over on the uh, on the Twitter side was quite anemic. I mean, it's been dropping, right? So if you go back, we have been tracking those numbers. I, I still remember when I hosted Credence, uh, you know, Canaglyphosin, uh, we had 600 plus live people actively posting in that hour, right? It was crazy. I was moderating that uh, chat and it was just nuts. Uh, if you see the last few, uh, last year, couple of years, it's been less than 100 sometimes often less than 50 in the last few uh, uh, chats. So the numbers have definitely been dropping. And when we started posting on both, the discussion on the blue sky side was way more dynamic. Uh, so as as um, as a group, we decided to quit using Twitter anymore uh, because uh, there's no point, right? There's a lot of effort that goes into hosting these chats as a participant, uh, you know, as, as a, someone who's lurking and seeing those tweets, it may seem, oh, this is easy. But we actually draft a bunch of things to say and we, we schedule them and all that. And that has become harder to do because of the changes. Uh, but we haven't seen the, you know, it, it's hard to say, hey, Jade, you know, spend an hour doing this, hosting this chat when there are five people uh, chatting there, right? So it doesn't become worthwhile. Uh, whereas on Blue Sky, we are seeing the engagement go up. Uh, I'm hoping it, it will stay. Uh, it, it's still early days, uh, so uh, we have decided to uh, just quit uh, using uh, Twitter, which is kind of a big change, right? Because if you see NFJC symbol, it has the Twitter board uh, on the NFJC logo. Uh, you know, we have uh, we have a kidney and we have uh, 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 the Twitter board there. Uh, so exactly, uh, so so it's gone now. Uh, we we haven't changing our logo. Uh, but that was part of our of the NFJC identity, and I, and I, it's very painful to let go of it, right? It's it's your you have a you know a close relative or friend who's uh, who's sick and who's uh, in uh, who perhaps is you know not uh, not palliative care but you know heading down that direction uh, uh, and uh, deliberately so perhaps uh, being made that way it's, it's it's been painful for all of us right I'm 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 trying to be positive by saying blue sky is wonderful but uh, Twitter has been part of for all of us you know we made so much so many friends. Uh, you know, it's been uh, essential to my career growth as well. I, I've had research projects that started off with conversations of Twitter. There are papers, there are invites, 
uh, you know, I, uh, the uh, I was talking about the late breaking trials at the kidney week, which was, you know, discussion that we had on Twitter, which led to some changes. So there have been so many fun things we have done on Twitter. So it's not easy for me to say walk away. Right. But it is uh, it has become really a different community. Uh, and I don't think by staying on, you're doing any favors. You're making a statement by staying on there uh, to be part of that, uh, you know, nasty uh, community. Uh, yeah. So just move on. Uh, you know, you will find um, it like a breath of fresh air and, and the skies are blue and it's uh, friendly faces there. And I'm not getting paid for doing that. Okay. <laughs> there is no sponsorship. This, this uh, program has not been funded by um, anybody. Yeah, anybody. <laughs> no, that's well, that is another thing I will say is, you know, being located in the United States and the kind of affiliation or association with Twitter and certain political standings is something that's been difficult. Um, and as an educator, you know, as Swaps or as Nikhil said, you know, you wanted to tell your learners like, hey, this is a place where you can interact with people and, and meet nephrologists from all over the world. And, you know, it's kind of, it becomes a point where in good conscience, I good conscious, I don't think I could tell a, a fellow or a medical student to join Twitter. And I and, and like Swap said, that's sad because I, I've met a lot of people through Twitter and it's been a really good experience, but I just don't think it has that same potential anymore. And, and the political Im implications in the United States really turn a lot of people away from it. Yeah, I, you're, you're absolutely right. I used to call myself a Twitter evangelist, right? I would go around uh, there are many colleagues, many friends, even strangers that I've said, hey, give me a phone. I'll set up your Twitter account now. Uh, and, and I've done that. I've, I've, uh, I've uh, made, I've forced uh, almost many people to open a Twitter account. But I stopped two years ago. And, and in the, and the, especially the last year, I don't, in good faith, uh, I cannot tell my trainee uh, or, or someone young saying, hey, open a Twitter account. And they'll go on and they'll see all this nastiness. They will face this, you know, pain. Uh, there is no, it, it, it has not been uh, the same. Whereas, uh, with Blue Sky, I see the same kind of feeling, right? I am now going around saying, hey, you know, you should open a Blue Sky uh, account, you know, you use the starter pack. It's a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm spending more time on it. I've deleted the Twitter app from my phone uh, and uh, I'm spending much more time on Blue Sky. I actually, so every year, uh, my program director used to tell me that for all the incoming trainees, you do the social media onboarding session so this year I did not because I, I don't know, like I'm not going to kind of go and bang the drum on Twitter and then they're coming back to me saying, what did he just tell us to do? I, I completely agree with you, Swap. Um, it's not worth it. All right, so this has been an absolutely, so again, one last little bit about um, uh, Blue Sky. It's, it's, a, it's a work in progress. It is happening, things are happening, changing for some time there was difficulty in even looking at the uh, posts because of the sheer numbers that were pouring into blue sky but most of that has been ironed out now i think uh, the dm groups will also start coming in uh, the one that we used on twitter quite often uh, and and i think it's good days ahead uh, and like swap said blue skies ahead we'll uh, keep hoping um, that that you all join and, and you all stay on Blue Sky and uh, relive the interaction of the old Twitter when it was actually the bird. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, many thanks to Swap and Jade uh, for coming on and uh, uh, for our ISPD secretary at Miguel and Armel uh, to have uh, organized uh, this lovely webinar. Um, last words, Jade? Uh, that's a pretty good summary. I thank you, everyone, and I'm glad to have been here. If you guys have any other questions about Blue Sky, join Blue Sky and message me. <laughs> exactly right. Join Blue Sky, uh, and as long as you know, uh, I would encourage you to you know put your real face, and yeah. uh, in your description, say you're a nephrologist or you're a nephrology fellow or you're a, you know renal dietitian or whatever it is. Uh, put that in your descriptor put your real name there uh, so that way I, you, I, I can identify you and I can add you to the starter packs, right? That's why not only do you follow the people who are in the starter packs, but the people who come after you will be able to follow you and find you very easily, right? So there are, there are many other sources, but these starter packs are very useful. So come and join us uh, on the Blue Skies. Perfect. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. See you, everyone. Bye-bye.